This episode, we're turning the spotlight on a character brought back to prominence this year by the Legacy toy line. So let's turn up the heat with the basics on the prehistoric Predacon, who's three beasts in one, Magmatron. Released in 1999, the original Magmatron toy was produced for the Japanese version of the Beast Wars toy line. The figure was made up of three separate prehistoric reptiles, a Giganotosaurus, an Elasmosaurus, and a Quetzalcoatlus, also known as the Landsaurus, Seasaurus, and Skysaurus, respectively, which could combine to form either Magmatron's robot mode or a monstrous chimera called the Magmasaurus. Charismatic and level-headed while also being a savage warrior, Magmatron was the main villain of the Japanese original animated series Beast Wars Neo. The series saw Magmatron and his team of Predacons competing with a unit of heroic Maximals led by Big Convoy to gather capsules of the mysterious Angle Moi energy, which had been scattered across the galaxy at the conclusion of the preceding series, Beast Wars Second. Magmatron usually had his troops do all the work while he remained on their ship, the Dinosaur. He tended only to step onto the battlefield if there was a chance for him to fight Big Convoy one-on-one. -on -one. As the series progressed, it was revealed that Anglemois was the energy of the monster planet Unicron, when Unicron's servants, the Blendrons, began seeking the Anglemois capsules in order to revive their dormant master. The desperate Magmatron was so determined to prevent this that he was even willing to sacrifice his men's lives. But his efforts were in vain. Unicron was revived in a body of pure energy that took the form of the previous Predacon leader, Galvatron, and soundly defeated Magmatron in battle. But as Unicron set out to take Cybertron itself as his new body by possessing the planet's central computer, Vector Sigma, Magmatron struck back, launching a violent attack that forced Unicron's spirit out of the machine. Unicron retaliated by draining Magmatron's energy, leaving him unable to participate in the final battle, which ended with Unicron being defeated by the Maximals. But then, in the show's final seconds, the recovered Magmatron returned for one last battle with Big Convoy, after which the Maximals and Predacons laid down their arms and began working together to repair the damaged Cybertron. A rather different version of Magmatron's story was told in the Beast Wars Neo manga. In this take on the Neo saga, Magmatron began life as a trio of actual living animals from a prehistoric alien planet. When one of the Anglemois capsules crashed on this world, exposure to the energy fused the creatures together and evolved them into a transformer. Thus, when Unicron set about engineering his resurrection in the manga, his final step was to devour Magmatron, consuming the Anglemois energy within him. Reduced to a severed head, the dying Magmatron bestowed his sword upon Big Convoy, who used it first to end Magmatron's suffering, then to destroy the reborn Unicron's new body. Initially a Japanese exclusive, Magmatron's toy was later released in Hasbro markets as part of Beast Wars sequel series Beast Machines in the year 2000, oddly marketed as a Maximal despite retaining his Predacon insignia. Now, in Japan, Beast Wars Neo was set thousands of years after Beast Machines, but the profile that came with this release of the toy presented an alternate interpretation of the series' events that moved them to take place much earlier in the timeline, shortly before Beast Machines, in the same era as the original Beast Wars cartoon. The profile detailed how, after his search for Anglemois, Magmatron returned to Cybertron during the events of Beast Machines, when the planet was overrun by Viacon drones, and joined up with a new team of Dinobot warriors to fight them. 
Magmatron's adventures in this era were briefly covered in the tie-in comic book The Wreckers, published through official convention Botcon, which told the story of how he and the Dinobots were lured into a trap by the evil alien Quintessons and destroyed by their techno-organic monster The Dweller. Most Western fans' first major exposure to Magmatron was his starring role in IDW Publishing's 2006 Beast Wars comic book miniseries The Gathering. In this series, which also depicted him as hailing from the original Beast Wars cartoon era, Magmatron was a respected Predacon general, instructed by the faction's ruling body, the Tri-Predicus Council, to hunt down the renegade Predacon, Megatron who, as seen in the Beast Wars cartoon, had travelled back in time to prehistoric Earth on a mission to alter history. Magmatron and his troops followed Megatron into the past, but the power-hungry Magmatron had an ulterior motive for coming to Earth. Secretly, he intended to raise an army with which he could overthrow the Council by reprogramming the many Transformers lying in stasis pods around the planet. His plan was foiled by the Maximal, Razor Beast, who blew up his transwarp device just as Magmatron was attempting to return to the future, blasting him into a limbo outside of time and space. Though trapped in this timeless place, Magmatron returned in the comic's 2007 sequel, The Ascending, in which he exerted what little influence he could on the physical world to stop the rise of the Anglemois-powered Predacon Shockeract and engineer his escape back to reality. Magmatron also had a notable role in the Beast Wars Uprising prose series released through the Transformers Collectors Club in 2016. This series was set in a dystopian alternate universe in which Maximals and Predacons alike were an impoverished underclass toiling under the Autobots and Decepticons. In this world, Magmatron was the chief engineer of the dinosaur. When the ship was on an expedition to the planet Metascan Omega, he came into conflict with the craft's treacherous political officer, Synapse, after discovering that he was trying to prevent the crew from learning that the Maximals and Predacons back on Cybertron had risen up in rebellion against their oppressors. Magmatron went on to lead those among the crew who wished to fight in the uprising in returning to their homeworld, where they joined with other Transformers to form a vigilante team called the X-Bots, dedicated to protecting the non-combatant civilians of their world from the war waging around them. Notably, Magmatron's appearance in this universe was based on a figure from the Japanese toy line Diaclone, 2016's Diabattles V2 a toy that, similar to the original Magmatron, was made up of three component vehicles that combined together to form a robot. Since then, Magmatron's only media appearances have been a few brief showings in the Transformers Legends manga, a goofy comedy series that depicted him as the principal of a school where Big Convoy worked as a teacher. But then, in 2024, a new figure of Magmatron was released in the Transformers Legacy toy line. This faithful update of his original figure is the character's first new toy in the 25 years since his introduction, and stands ready to introduce this fiery Predacon powerhouse to a whole new generation of fans. And those are the basics on Magmatron. Let me know if you're looking forward to his new toy as much as I am in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for more history and lore from the world of the Transformers, plus check out Patreon to get early ad-free access to new episodes.